October 4. What is a quick and easy way to figure out what color of a tube or plastic worm to use? Good morning, guys and girls. Good morning, October 4, October 4. Ready for our Catch a, Catch a Better Life daily devotional with a scripture, a devotional built around fishing, and a fishing tip on the Catch a Better Life channel on YouTube. If you're not subscribed to that channel, please subscribe to that channel right now. If you want your own copy of this book, you can get it at uh, Bass Pro Shop, Cabela's, Barnes & Noble, Hobby Lobby, Books A Million, just about anywhere books are sold. You can order some directly from us, jimmyhouston.com, jimmyhouston.com. I think they're $17.99. We'll be happy to personalize and autograph it. These are gift books, so if you want to buy some gifts for somebody, absolutely a great present for birthdays. Uh, Christmas is not too far along around uh, from us right now, and stocking stuffer yeah under twenty dollars stocking stuffer very very good hey guys and girls i got short sleeves on it i got goosebumps on out here this morning in the 50s that's right in the 50s been having 50s now off and on for a couple of weeks look in october 4 matthew 4 4 matthew 4 4 and it says it is written these are red letters by the way it is written man shall not live by bread alone but by every word that proceeds from the mouth of God. Red letters, this is Jesus talking right here. You'll find out, I'm sure you, some of you know, some of you might not know who he was talking to. If we could talk to fish, how good of a fisherman could we become? How good could we get if we could talk to fish? I'd really like to interview Mama Largemouth. I'd like to interview every fish I catch, every fish I catch. I'd like to ask him a couple, two or three questions. What color spinnerbait is your favorite spinnerbait? Would you have bitten a worm if I'd have thrown it in here instead of this crankbait or a spinnerbait or whatever? Where do you go after a cold front? And how do you act? How's your attitude after a cold front? Can you see my fishing line? Can you see my fishing line? What color line can you not see? Well, I don't know, the bass would say. I can't see it. <laughs> It'll be an awfully long interview. I know that. I would probably interview every catch, uh, fish I catch and ask them a question or two. Well, did you know we can interview God? That's right. We can actually interview God himself. We can learn all about him just by reading his word. His words called the Bible. Very simple. Plus, we can find out how God himself would react in every single situation. Every situation that we're in, we can find out how God would react if he's in that same situation. That's what Jesus was doing in today's scripture right here. As he was resisting Satan's temptation. That's right. He was talking to the devil himself when he said this. It is written, man shall not live, live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds from the mouth of God. Guess what? Guess what? Satan's going to tempt you and me often just like he did Jesus. Satan is probably going to tempt us today, today. Can I tell you? Can I tell you? We are armed with the same weapon Jesus used to resist that temptation. We have the exact same weapon that Jesus used to resist, resist the devil. Keep God's word close by you. Keep it in your heart. Keep it in your mind. Keep a Bible handy everywhere you are. Keep one in your truck. Keep one on your office desk. Keep one handy. Because it'll work for you and I, just like it worked for Jesus. You know, one of the great things that I like about this, after this was over, and Jesus, Satan didn't give up just, just one temptation, by the way. Uh, he, he tempted Jesus more than once. Jesus more than once. But the great thing I liked about this is after G Satan had tempted Jesus, and Jesus had fought back using a weapon of the word of God, the devil left him and angels showed up and attended to Jesus. I believe, as you know, if you've been around me very much, I believe I have angels all around me right now. And I believe that when I resist Satan's temptation on my life, the devil's going to run. Angels are going to take care of me. Angels are going to take care of me. Here's our tip for today. Match the tube, your tube and, so, so, and your aerosol plastic you're fishing to the color of bait that the fish are eating. We mostly do that by the locations we're fishing, the time of the year. 
Uh, in the fall of the year, uh, the fish are feeding mostly on shad, so we use shad, shad colored baits. In the spring of the year, they're feeding a lot on crawfish. During the summertime, they're feeding a lot on bluegill and baby bass, so we use bluegill color, baby bass color. There's many, many ways you can help. You can help to learn those colors. Crawfish, uh, if you'll just turn over a few rocks on around on any lake, you'll turn over a few rocks, you'll find a crawfish. Catch that crawfish, look at it. Oh, those geese came right over my head. Turn, turn, turn the rocks over, catch a crawfish or two. Look at the colors on that crawfish. Is he just sort of sandy, white, brown, gray looking? Or has he got some orange in him, some green in him, some blue in him? Look at that, match the colors, match the colors. Shad, by the way, are not just black and, and, and shiny, uh, black and white. They've got some blue mixed into them as well and a little bit of red. Guys and girls, go out there and have you a great one today. Resist that devil with God's word. Angels are all around waiting to help. And remember, I sure do love you.